How can you say that? Eve gave me my book. The one that I wrote. She hoped that by reading my own words, it might jog my memory. It didn't work. But it did help me find out more about our past. That I was held hostage in Afghanistan. That I've suffered PTSD. That you blamed me for leaving you. Yes, I did, Jack, but I had no idea the hell that you had gone through. And then when I fought my way back to you and my kids, even when you found out about me, when you finally knew the truth and the hell that I'd been through, you still weren't sure that you wanted me. So you decided to date me and this Daniel fellow at the same time, to string us both along, until you had time to figure out who you liked best. You see, you've made a decision. No, no, I'm not. Daniel's dead. So, you've moved on yet again. No. I haven't, Jack. I am not. I'm not dating. Well, maybe not, but, um, Jack, you are right on the money. She's moved on with about half the men in this room. Oh, I see what's going on here. You turned Jack against me. She did nothing of the kind. The facts spoke for themselves. Oh, yeah, Jack, over facts. They don't tell the whole story. They don't tell how the story started, how we fell in love, how you took a college intern under your wing and made her a journalist. You gave me a career. You taught me how to dig for the truth, and that is what you need to do right now. You need to dig for the truth, Jack. Because you can look at me. And you can see the woman that I am, the girl that I was, the woman I grew into. I did that all with you, Jack. I would never be the woman I am today without you, Jack Devereaux. You taught me so much. This is crazy, but one time you, you gave me this little jade plant and you said it was so vulnerable. Yet